If you've been following my voyage of discovery regarding this 12-inch Sonor Force 3000, the stock mount was quite massive, and it was mounted just right in the center of the shell. Between the lugs, it almost seemed like they intended for it to kill the sound, make it go dead. And I tried uh, rims mounts, a genuine rims mount, and it uh, in the previous video, you can hear it goes completely dead yeah. with rims on it. Dead. And I got to thinking all of a sudden, what if I got a lower mass mount? And I don't, I don't think the mount, the mass is the problem. But what if I mounted it between, you know, the same, uh, same area as the lugs vertically? and see what that does, go to a rod mount. And here's what I got. Here's the drum hanging from my hand again, and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna try and position the mic about where it'll be when I mount it. Plenty of sustain. Now let's mount it. And you remember what happened last time. Snug it down, here we go. Drum roll, please. Loosen it, any change? No more choke. I have some, uh, some takeaways from this experiment. I don't think it was the mass and not the position in, in itself because when I had this thing held in my hand in the previous video, it had plenty of sustain with the mount still attached. Um, but I wanted to remove the old mount anyway, and I could probably get a little more sustain if I fill these holes, which begs the question, why do, why do drums have vents in them? You know, is it to let spiders in? I don't know. But I think it's the position of the mount. I can't explain why it did, it went dead with the, with the rims mount. It just doesn't make sense. I tried everything to make sure that this drum was absolutely free floating and that the rubber cushions, nothing was anywhere near any of the lugs, the tension rods, the shell. I'm kind of annoyed with myself that it took me this long for the light to come on. But, um, but the bottom line is this has solved the loss of sustain when I mount it. It's, it's absolutely wide open when I mount it, and I'm thrilled and annoyed at myself. It's just I'm always irritated with myself about something. So for now, it's that, and we'll move on to something else later.